Uh, hi guys. Let me just. There we go. Um. I asked you guys a couple of uh, weeks ago. Uh, what would you like to see on the channel? And a lot of you guys said you like to see more vlogs. And I'm like, really? I'm really not that interesting. Um, but I I have a bit of a dilemma. And I thought, you know what? I'll, I'll share this with my nation, with the Cobra Nation. As you can see, well, just almost saw, I'm in the process of getting some of my Magic the Gathering cards uh, together. And one of my problems was, uh, I remember clearing out my office beginning of summer, near the end of summer. And I remember grabbing some of my Magic cards. These are known as deck boxes. These are full of Magic cards. I mean, say, full of Magic cards. And I remember taking about 12 of these boxes, 13 of these boxes, and putting them in other boxes, bigger boxes, and uh, putting them away. And lately, our boiler burst. So our basement's got about yeah, much water in it. And I've got to go over to my local hardware store because we've got a sump pump, but the water level is so low that it hasn't caused the sump pump to trigger to suck the water out. So I've got a small, like, three gallon, not even that, tiny little shop vac. And it's going to take me like a hundred trips plus to get the water out. And I thought, nah. So I'm going to get one of those dual drill pumps, you take a hose put it in the water, take another hose, take it out the window, turn the drill on, and it sucks it out. And that'll get it down to about that much, which will only be about 50 trips. <laughs> so that's what I've got planned, sadly, to do here for in the next few days. And um, at the same time, I've got to be helping Grim, one of my co-hosts of my podcast. Uh, he's moving here to Utah uh, with his wife and uh, three children, so... That'd be fun. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, the, the things on my mind. Um, today's the anniversary of my father's death. Um, it's been 26 years since that horrible day that I saw my dad in the hospital. And... Um, a couple of hours later, I was at my nan's house, and um, I remember my mum coming home, and she didn't say a word to me or my brother, and about 45 minutes goes by, and I remember this, remember the day very vividly because it was also the same day that I had my very first ever cup of tea. <laughs> and, um, she nonchalantly just looks at me and tells me that my dad's dead. Didn't believe her at first. I'm like, no, he's not. He's still at the hospital. You just, you, you, you pull him a leg. And then it finally settled in after I tried to leave the house, hop on a bus, no bus ticket, no fare money, no nothing, to go to King's College Hospital, to go see my dad. And when I got there, his bed was empty. Sign was gone, bed was empty, none of his, nothing was there. The machines were all gone. The bed was stripped, thinking maybe he's heading home. Bear in mind I was 10 years old at the time, guys. 10 years old. And so I ran home, thinking he's going to be there. 
funny to see my dad's side of the family over there crying, hugging my Uncle Graham. And it sank in. He's gone. For about a year, I kept telling myself, even after I was the pallbearer, I was the one that led the procession. Ten years old and I'm walking in front of my father's hearse. And I was told not to cry. And I didn't. Even after I was the poor bear, lead poor bear, in my dad's funeral, and I watched him lower him on the ground, it still didn't sink in. I used to tell myself, "No, nah, he's at work. He'll be home soon. He'll be home soon. He'll be home soon." Hours turned to days, days to weeks, weeks to months, and it finally settled in. Because usually during the summer, I would. Go to, got a zip behind my ear. Pop your fuck. Oh, come on. Anyway. During the summer, I'd go to my Uncle John's farm and help him. Or I'd go help my Uncle Graham, my Uncle David, my Uncle. My, I'd, I'd always be working during the summer. And. That's when it sank in. He was gone. 26 years to this day. Miss you, Dad. I'm halfway around the world now. I'm living my dream. Growing up as a kid, I'd always tell my dad, that I wanted to go to America. I wanted to move to America. I wanted to live in America. <laughs> my mum would say, shut up, you're living in a dream. Not my dad. Not my dad. He, he purposely bought an American car. <laughs> so I could sit in the back seat and feel like the president. Just because you see this, guys, you see me laughing, joking, making you laugh, doesn't mean that we're not hurting inside. Doesn't mean that we don't have our own monsters, our own demons. We do. Every, every person on this planet is going through something. You're not the only one. Don't struggle. You're not the only one. Trust me on this. You're not the only one. And this leads me to, 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 to one of the core thoughts that were going through my head, and it's motivation. And now my dad, he died due to com complications of a whole bunch of things. Uh, heart disease, because he smoked and drank, lack of exercise after he left the military, um, hereditary anemia. It's a blood disorder that I, even I have it. It was a, it, it was a combination of everything that killed him. And then it hit me that if I don't start taking care of myself, going to the gym, checkups, things like that, what am I leaving behind for my kids, for my wife, for you guys? What am I leaving behind? A legacy of me pissing and moaning into a camera. Not my thing. So I've decided to start going to the gym and exercising once the snow's all melted and whatnot. That way I can, you know, go swimming, 
hiking, biking, stuff like that. Go back and doing some airsoft. Uh, I mean, I've got the GoPro. And I've got the camera mount and system and stuff, so I figured, why the hell not? What's the worst that's going to happen? My channel. Yeah. Uh, see, this is the thing, guys. Everyone on YouTube has this thing where they want to be bigger than life. Where they want PewDiePie subscribers and all this other stupid shit and whatnot. Not me. Not me. I don't care if... I, I don't care about a silver play button or a gold play button or a platinum play button. I don't care about any of that. Which, grats to Boogie. I'm getting your silver play button, buddy. I don't care about any of that. That doesn't bug me. That doesn't even bother me. I just want to leave content behind that helps the next generation. That doesn't cause the next generation to be lower than it should be. I mean, yeah, I know electronics. I know how to build a computer. I know how to make a magic library. I, I, you know, I know silly things. The things I know are just that. They're silly. Turn my stupid water to focus off. It's just that. It's silly. But This leads me to other things that are on my mind. And one of those core things that's always been on my mind since I made my very first YouTube channel, Malavictus, um, which I still post videos to, I might add. Although not so much as I do here, but I, I do. I... I find uh, it, it's hard to find motivation and with what's going on with my father and I'm a fallen mess with everything that, that happened with my dad and today of all days I have made a promise to myself that I'm going to rather live my life the way I can, within my means, within my budget, within my time constraint. I'm going to do the best I can. So, I'm going to buy me some gym shorts, some some new sneakers, stuff like that, and I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to try and eat healthy, eat right, vegetables, you know, protein, all that fun stuff. I'm going to go through all of this with you guys in a video vlog style like this or with the tripod camera or with the GoPro. But you guys are coming along for the ride. I asked you what you wanted to see and you guys said vlogs. You want to see more vlogs. I hate these skin, these skin tags right here. It gets in my peripheral vision which bogs me. So I've got to try and find a way of removing it permanently. Anyway, so that's what I've got planned. No intro, no outro, no fancy schmancy editing, it's just what you see here guys. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below. And uh I'll see you in the next one. Bye.